Hey, hi, hello, howdy. Oh gosh, I didn't even see if this is properly set up. Pretty dang close. Hold, please. Let me just pull you. Guys, does anybody else get into major like cleaning organization mode <laughs> January 1st? Uh, our garage sales a thing anymore. I'm not sure. I really want to have one because I've got a lot of um, stuff that I can sell, including a ton of fabric. I have like um, bolsters of workout fabric, like stretch material, because I used to make uh, workout pants with a friend of mine who had a little business. Oh, but making work custom workout pants for people is a nightmare because people think that they're going to be like perfection made for their body nothing could ever possibly go wrong from a homemade pair of pants <laughs> uh, so it was way too much stress we stopped that um, but I have a ton of the fabric I'm digressing here um, so I went through all my workout stuff Guys, I feel so bad. My brother gave me these cool Nike pants two Christmases ago, and um, they've been sitting at the bottom of my workout drawer because they're really thin, so they were folded up like super small. Um, so I'm, I feel like I got a brand new pair of pants today because I, I think I've literally worn these like one time. I'm digressing. Random, random thoughts with Katie. Hi, hello, howdy. Happy Wednesday. Uh, welcome to Glutes and Core. Uh, equipment today, I've got one set of heavy dumbbells. Um, we can always just hold one, uh, but I wanted to grab the second one because we're gonna glute bridge and I like to double up on that glute bridge. I cannot forget to put my towel across my lap because once again, I'm wearing light colored pants on leg day. Why do I keep doing this? And then they get super dirty. Guys, I could not get that stain out of those pink pants from last week. Uh, yesterday, I had I had to soak just laundry detergent on those spots to try to get them off. I'm like, what the heck is on these dumbbells? I don't know. Anyways, um, glute band for sure. If you have one, please go ahead and grab it. Um, if you don't, it's not a big deal. You'll be doing the exact same moves as us. Uh, we're gonna hit the ab challenge at the end. We're going to do our AMRAP blocks just like we did yesterday with three moves instead of two. Um, so we'll do a, a weighted move, a band move for the most part, and then a random ab move. I wanted to, I, I don't want to get tired of these ab challenge moves, so we still got to hit some other random abs, and then we'll do the ab challenge at the end. Okay, let's get going. All right, march it out. Deep breath in, let that go. One more time. Let's start with a ham curl. These pants are like the color of butter, I've decided. I wonder why I never wore them. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Now I am. <laughs> All right, you know the deal, guys. Keep your core tight to the entire time. I'll remind you a bunch. Four, three, two. Now tap and swing to the front. Four. Three, two, pause the feet, goal post arms and twist. Good, really pull the core in tight here. Four, three, two, take the feet wide and double rock. Hold it. Hold it in the center. Take that over to the other side. Back to center. 
Come on up to your hip thrust and hinge. One more, hold it down again. Good, go ahead and turn your feet to face one direction, fall over that leg. And drop that back knee. And let's start a flow where we go front and back. Front and back. A little hip flexor, a little hamstring. One more, front and back. Hold it. Good, come on up. Take it back down to the center. I forgot how we started that little flow. <laughs> All right, turn to the other side, fall over that leg. Drop it down into your runner's lunge. Good, and start your flow. Back and front, back and front, back. And front, one more. Hold this one back. Good. And come on up. Okay, take a quick quad stretch each side. Whoa. We're gonna drop it down and hit our banana, upper banana, and a quick plank. So come on down. We're gonna get that banana to start. Here we go. Scoop that belly. Little belly button down to spine. Get that low back down. Remember, you can have one foot elevated at a time as the modification. If you've done that, hopefully you've switched. We'll hit the upper banana. Three, two, drop the legs, lift the upper body. Make sure you have a little space between your chin and chest. If it helps you to pulse here, go for it. Just tapping the lower back down each time. Good, we'll flip it into plank in five, three, two, one. Flip it over, hit your plank right away. Same thing if you're from the knees or on the toes. Hips low, pull belly button in, stack your joints, unless you're taking the wolf hold, then you're here. I've decided I really like the wolf hold. I feel way more ab um, engagement when I do the wolf hold instead. So I highly recommend you try it if you haven't. You can do it from the knees too. You just take the, walk the hands out really wide. Keep pulling your abs in. We're almost there. We're under 10. Three, two, one. Child's pose. All right, take a minute recovery here and let's get set up. We're gonna start with a squat with a side leg lift. Okay, and the squat is what's gonna take us to the 10, if that makes sense. So we'll go squat, lift, okay. We'll slip the band on and we'll continue those leg lifts. We'll go 10 per side on those. We'll drop it down and hit 10 baby seals per side. Going at 20. So you can hold weight heart center. You can set the weight on your back. You can hold dumbbells down in the center, put them on your hips. Lots of options. Have that glute band handy because we're gonna slip it on really quick. I'm gonna throw the weight on my back because I like that. All right, standard squat position, here we go. And then side lift. 
That's one. I guess we could slip our glute band on for this portion of it as well. So if you want to keep your glute band on, go for it. All the things, squeeze your corridor, abs are tight. I already lost count. Good start, pretty sure we've got one more each side. All right, quickly, flip your glute band on. Abs tight, open for 10. Try to get your heel up, toe down. Three, two, other side. 10, now you can go super quick here if you want. I'm just trying to go a little bit slower and make it a little bit bigger. Two, one. I'm just gonna keep my band on for pure convenience. Baby seals, you're up on a hip. Modification, you lift one leg at a time. Instead of two with the band, it's quite difficult. I'd probably slip it off. Level two, we lift both. This hand is down for a little bit of support. Three, two, other side, flip it. Get right in. Three, two, one. We're back to the top. I'm gonna keep my band on. Make any weight adjustments you wanna make. I'm going back on the back. Here we go. Don't let the band pull your knees in. Fight it. Are you still squeezing your quarter? Pick it back up. What about your abs? Pull it back in. Two more, one more each side. Nicely done. All right, go right into your leg lifts. One more and switch. Woo. Let those outer glutes burn. What happened to your abs? Pull them back in. Three, two, one. Drop down for our baby seal. This will take us to the end. Like I said yesterday, with three moves, these blocks go by super fast. And I even added time to them. Two, one, get right into the other side. Four, three, Two, one. Nicely done. Remove your band for now. We'll see it again in a second. Take a full minute recovery. All right, block number two. We're gonna take reverse lunges right up into a glute squeeze. Okay, so we'll go back. We'll hit that. Return to center. Um, 
Let's go one, two, three, four to get to the 10. We'll slip our band on. We'll keep the glute raises going with 10 per side. And then we're gonna drop down for a butterfly crunch. Okay, I'm gonna keep with the weight on the back beam. All right, here we go. Make sure that your lunge is on your train track, not on a tightrope train track. Okay, pick a side, any side, doesn't matter which side and go. Make sure you're alternating. Well, unless you want to do five and five, that's up to you. Push up through the front heel. Abs tight, chest lifted. One more each side. All right, slip that band on. If you have it, if you don't, you're just gonna take glute pulses, 10 per side. Okay, abs are still tight, you're slightly hinged over, go. Squeeze that quarter. Two, one, other side. Pull your abs back in. Two, one. Band off, drop it down. Let your leg fall open into butterfly. Reach down the center. Get those shoulder blades up. So really round up and round down. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Three, two, one, roll it all the way up. Come on back up, grab your weight. Okay, back to our reverse lunge. Nice and long and low. One more each side. Slip that band back on if you have it. Quick transitions. All right, kick it back. Four, three, two, switch. Just realized I switched. This is my uh, easiest band. I was like, why does this feel so easy? Because last week I did the hard one. Three, two, one. That's okay. I feel super accomplished. <laughs> I feel like I'm crushing it with it. All right, butterfly. Really scoop the belly round up and down. Two, one, roll it all the way up. All right, these will take us to the end. Get right in, here we go. Happen to your abs, pull them back in. One more each side. Nicely done. We'll just add four seconds onto the break. No big deal. Cow off, grab water. We're cruising along. Okay, 
The next ab move I think is really good for the ab challenge. It's the Pilates roll up. So that will really teach you how to round up and down, getting that low back down, okay? So I think that's a really good one to do. That's why we're doing it. <laughs> All right, move number one. We're gonna take single uh, deadlifts. You can either have cake stand leg or you can hover. We're gonna drop down for a banded parachute pulse if you have it. Uh, and then we'll hit roll ups. All right. I'm gonna start with the kickstand just for demonstration. So come on down, flat back, pull, pull, pull. Uh, let's do five per side. Switch. Little micro bend in the knee, flat back down, abs tight. Think about pulling up through that hamstring. One more. Set those down. Band on if you have it. Come down to your tummies. If you don't have the band, it's not a big deal. You're doing the same thing. Head down, legs lifted, open. Three, two, one. Oh man, I love those. Love, 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 love. All right, roll ups. Your modification, you don't need the band. It's just there for convenience. Knees bent. And you basically do a sit up. You can add the ballerina arms. Level two, straight legs. Come on up, sit all the way up. Slow back down, okay? Round, round, round. Exaggerate that uh, C shape through the spine. Halfway. Now your other modification is to, to attempt and come up as high as you can before returning back down. If that's where you're at, perfectly fine. Just work towards the full meal deal. I think this is our last one. We might have done too many. I'm not sure. Come back up. For pure convenience, I'm keeping my band on. That's up to you. All right, back to where I deadlift. Here we go. Oh yeah, you can also cover this leg. Definitely more difficult with the band. Good challenge, good challenge. What happened to your abs? Pull them back in. Let's take one more on this side and switch. Stay square to the ground. Don't let that hip flip. One more. Drop it down. Head down, legs up, parachutes. Three, two, one. Really squeeze your quarter on those. If you don't feel those, oh man, issues. I'm just kidding. Scoop, 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 scoop. Five more. This will probably be our last time here. Two. And one. Come all the way up. Back to Oshinka. You know, we only have a few seconds here, so let's just stay down and parachute pulse until the end. 
Lift and go. We've only got 15 seconds, guys. Just take it to the end. Squeeze that quarter. Four, three, two, one. I feel like I could just do those all day. I love those. I definitely could because my glutes would probably fall off my body. All right, we're in a long recovery. We don't need the band for this one. So just set it to the side. All right, we're gonna take a double lat lunge, pulse side to side. So we're gonna stay out the entire time. We're gonna drop it down. So have a little pad ready. We're gonna drop it down into kneeling side leg lifts. And then we're gonna go into some single uh, leg lowers with an optional heaven press in between. All right, weight can be down in the middle of your legs, back, open it wide, double pulse. Get low, booty back. Three, two, one. Weight down. Have your little padding if you need it. Come on down. I'm just gonna use this weight as a kickstand. All right, 10 pulses. Just tap the toe down. Three, two, one. I think we did a few too many, that's okay. All right, other side. Two, one. All right. So we're gonna take single, meet the middle, hip press, Hold on, let me ah, forget about that hip. Let's just go singles. So one, one. So count down to 20, okay? Get those shoulder blades up. Three, two, one. That's also a modification for your double leg raise on the app challenge. All right, grab that weight, open it back up. Just try to start on the side you finished on. If you remember, it's okay if you don't. Double pulse it, get low, stay low. Booty back, squeeze that quarter. Two, one. All right, grab your little padding, leg out, here we go. Four, three, two, one. Other side. Three, two, one. Leg lowers. Here we go. Twenty. Shoulder blades up. Four, three, two. One. All right, last time, get right in. Here we go. 
Squeeze that quarter. Make sure your knees are still heading out. What happened to your abs? Pull them back in. Two, one. All right. We'll have enough time for these. Maybe not for abs, though. We'll see. Two, one. This will take us to the end. 10. Three, two, one. Awesome job. All right. Full minute recovery. Go ahead and stay down. If you have your glute band, go ahead and slip it on. We're gonna take regular glute bridges. We're gonna hold it up for an abduction pulse where we let the legs fall open against the band. If you don't have the band, no big deal. And then we're gonna take reverse crunch into full sit up. Your option is to just hit that reverse crunch. Okay. Oh, light colored pants on and dirty dumbbells. Put your towel across your lap for sure. All right. And then if you want that weight, set it on your lap. All right, dig those heels and tuck those shoulder blades. Take this first one really slow, hold it, get all situated, and then start. Tap and go. Squeeze that quarter. Four, three, Two, hold, and now start your pulses to the outer edge. Pulse, pulse. It's little. Four, three, two, come on down. Remove that weight. All right, reverse crunch. So remember, you can just crunch and come back to tabletop. You can tap, you can shoot or you can take reverse crunch into full sit up. So try not to use too much momentum there. certainly can. Just stack them on top of each other. Oh yeah. All right, get situated and go. Squeeze that quarter. Extra hard at the top. Three, two, fold it. Start your pulse, out. Keep those hips up there, guys. Three, two, one, drop it down. Remove that weight. All right, reverse crunch it. Three more.
last one. All right, come on back. Last round. Here we go. Get those hips up, squeeze that quarter, guys. We're almost done here. Two more. Hold this one up. Start your pulse. Get those hips up. Four, three, two, one. Drop it down. Weights can just go all the way up to the side. All right, we'll do as many of these as we can. We only have 10 seconds. Let's get one more in. Nicely done. I don't know why the reverse crunch into the sit-up is so much harder. You would think it wouldn't be because you inevitably use some momentum. I don't know, man. All right, you can stay down again. If you have your band, just keep it on. You can actually put your weight completely away. Unless you don't have a band and you want to tuck a light weight behind your knee, we've got fire hydrants, we've got donkeys, and then we're gonna, gonna go into a little bit of side planking, okay? So pick a side, any side, doesn't matter which side. Strong tabletop, okay? Abs super engaged here. And start with that fire hydrant. Flex that foot, open it out to the side. Three, two, same leg, your donkeys. Kick it up. Stamp that foot on the ceiling. Squeeze that quarter. Again, you could absolutely tuck a light weight behind your knee. Three, two, one. Flip flop. Other side, start with that fire hydrant, flex that foot. Okay, don't start to do one of these into your shoulders. We're strong, strong tabletop, okay? Abs tight. Three, two, one. Other side, same side, donkey. Here we go. Happen to your abs, pull them back in. Three, two, one. All right, side plank. You can have one knee down, and you can be here. We're gonna go five, okay? Or you can stack. Here we go, five. The modification is to just hold. Last one. Other side. Get right in. Five. One more. Nice. Readjust your band. Back to our fire hydrants. I'm going to start on the side I ended on. Open it up. Here we go. Are you squeezing that quarter? Don't drop it. We're almost done. Two. Donkey kick. Here we go. Pull your eyes back in. 
three, two, other side. Get set up and get right in. Don't sink into those shoulders. Push out of the ground, nice and strong. This will be our last time here. Two, donkey. Three, two, one. It's only a little sweat puddle here. All right, side plank. Here we go. You can hold it or take your five. Two, one. Other side. This will take us to the end. Set it up and get in. Two, one. Hold it. Release. We'll just add five seconds onto our break. Awesome. Towel off. Grab water. And we're going to get into the app challenge. So the only thing that stays exactly the same as far as order goes is our banana holds are at the top and our plank is at the end. I switched up the order of the exercises just a little bit today. Okay. So I will call them out a few seconds before it starts. Just remember to keep that low back down. If your legs need to be way up here in order to do that instead of down here, that is fine. Keep, keep that low back down. Start with your banana. Here we go. Head down. So that's what I'm saying. If your legs need to be here, because that's the point where your low back wants to pop up, just work towards lowering them down. Upper banana, three, two, drop the legs, lift the shoulder blades. If you like that pulsing, go ahead and take that. Just tap the low back down each time. Chin and chest, there's a little bit of space. Standard leg lowers in four, three, two, one, here we go. Remember your modification, one at a time, or floor up. Keep that low back down. Scoop, 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 scoop. Pull belly button the spine. Go into your banana knees. Here we go. Prisoner arms. Modification, set that leg down. In between, instead of the hover. Feet kisses in five, three, two, one. So if you want to be supported, here we are. Tap, tap, tap. Reverse crunch in five, three, two, and go. You can just return to tabletop. You can shoot, or you can tap, okay? Scissor, three, two, one. So big, cross it over. Get that low back down.
Right split. Here we go. Pulse. So I'm doing the modification right now with the leg down, or you can hover. Get those shoulder blades up. Scissor V ups. Here we go. I'm going to take the modification. Left split in four, three, two, come on back. Start your pulse. Try to stretch this leg at the same time. Pendulum in three, two, one. So remember your modification is from uh, supported with the legs. That lower back still down. Scoop it. Hip circles in four. Three, two, go. So remember your circles can be really small or you can take one at a time. Pendulum crosses in four. Here we go. I'm doing the modified right now. You just set the heel down. We'll flip for plank. In four, three, two, flip. So it's up to you what kind of plank you want to do. Knees, toes, forearms, wide, and that wolf. I'm just going to hold it. Keep holding it, guys. Get those hips down, tuck those abs. Keep holding. I'm gonna switch it to the wolf. This will take us home, okay? This is it. Re-engage those abs, strong till the end, we're under 10. Three, two, child's pose. Ho oh, ho! Good, breathe. And then let's start that little flow where we go child pose, up dog. Release the glutes here and release the hip flexors, okay? Don't flex. If you need to shake it. All right, flow it. This feels so good. All right, stay out here. Relax those glutes. Good, come through tabletop, hit your runner's lunge. More of a hip flexor stretch here. Sit back into that hamstring. How do you guys do on the ab challenge today? Hopefully, it seems like it's getting slightly easier. I did not increase the time at all today. It's the same as it was yesterday. Take that to the other side. So we're at just a little over five minutes on that, okay? As long as I take the modified version on a couple of the exercises, I'm feeling much better about it than I did at this time last week. So that's awesome. Come on up. Keep that leg out in front of you, fall over. And uh, I, so I the roll-ups, I haven't done them in a while. 
so much easier than they used to be for me. So if you have an exercise, uh, take that back leg into a quad stretch, an ab exercise that like has always been a struggle for you. Like if I'm not doing it, if it's not part of the ab challenge, you make it part of it. Have some gauge. Uh, take that foot into a standing figure four. Have at least one exercise as you're like, I can't do this right now to see if by the end of the month or maybe two months, I don't know how long this is gonna go, if you can do it. Am I making sense? Hopefully. <laughs> All right, open it up to the other side and fall. So like for me, that roll up, I used to not be able to do that roll up with straight legs uh, and keeping my feet down. Today, dude, no problem. So that's awesome. Go to your quad stretch. And go into your standing figure four. Maybe, crazy driver. All right, release. Open it wide, take a couple hip thrusts and hinges. Hold this one down, widen it out, and just kind of go in a little flow here, side to side. And hold it again in the center, roll it up. Heel toe it in, deep breath in, cactus and hinge. Do that again. Deep breath, cactus, hinge. Deep breath, cactus. Do a dance and pose. We are done. Round of applause, all the things. Woo. Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully that was a good lower body session. Sweating over here for sure. Uh, and hopefully the out challenge is maybe getting slightly easier. If not, we're just at the start of it, okay? Stick with it. All right, I'll see you tomorrow morning, bright and early, 7.10, for our Express Tabata. We are gonna do the ab challenge as well. We're gonna do it in a Tabata block though. We're just gonna roll through the breaks. Uh, so it'll be, we'll tack on a plank to the end of that. So it should be about five minutes of um, the challenge, just like we've been doing. All right, have a great evening and I'll see you tomorrow, bye.